Don't believe the hype, understand the science. We want to be increasing the awareness of green chemistry at UC Berkeley. able to do this at UC Berkeley because a lot of things came together. We had a challenge and our challenge was with our limited amount of funding and uh, a pretty narrow timeline, we needed to make cheaper, safer, better labs. This is the vision. Green chemistry is new chemistry. These are opportunities to teach in a new way and to really discuss the big environmental and social issues that are facing our students. It's also a student-driven vision. I want my students to be able to understand what are hazards, how do we identify them. I want them to understand the life cycle of chemicals. Where do they come from? Where do they end up? I want them to be able to design safer, more efficient reactions. In order to do that, I want them to be able to use metrics. You need to be able to measure it in order to decide if it's safer. find is this gives them a very valuable learning context. So right from the very beginning we had a pre-lab exercise that had them look at these three chemicals um, which you probably will recognize and have heard about, dioxin, um, bisphenol A, and lead. And compare material data safety sheets, ChemSpider which is an aggregator of uh, chemical data, and Wikipedia as resources for determining how safe um, and what sort of precautions you should take in this uh, setting. This is what I love. If you empower students with a good question and an interesting area, they come up with the really important questions and ident start identifying some of the fundamentals that they need to be asking all the time. That's what we're looking for here. Changing how graduate students are going you know, to approach their research projects and their teaching because that's the next generation of designers.